Hi, I hope you're well. Today I thought I'd share with you my laser hair removal experience. I started this last year and I actually posted a picture on Instagram and I had a couple comments such as uh, I heard it's really good for dark skin and I'm scared my skin will scab up so I thought it'd be really useful to share my experience with you guys. Uh, typically this would be on my lifestyle channel but I thought I'd put it on here because it is, you know, hair related. I am quite a hairy person and as soon as I found out that laser hair removal or you know semi-permanent to permanent hair removal is a thing I was like I'm in okay because I'm just sick of like constantly removing bodily hair and of course this is personal preference don't feel at all pushed or pressured especially as a woman to remove your hair if you do not want to. So I started with my underarms, um, and I say started because I do plan on removing more hair. <laughs> but I started with my underarms because it was the place that I would constantly be removing hair from, and the most often, especially when I'm doing like hair tutorials or I'm washing my hair, my arms are up. So I'm quite conscious of like hair being on show and visible. So that's why I decided to start with my underarms, but I do want to get further treatments on the rest of my body. And I went to the Pulse Light Clinic on Tottenham Court Road. It is quite a popular clinic to go to in London. In fact, my friend, Sue Pal, she's of Indian descent and she goes to the other one. There's like two in central London. I went to Tottenham Court Road. She went to the other one, but of course I will leave all details down below. So the first thing I will say is obviously do your research, be very thorough, get on that Google, look at reviews, look at experiences. YouTube is a wonderful source as we all know, and then you'll go in for a free consultation. Now, if a clinic doesn't offer you a free consultation, I would be a little bit wary, okay? Pulse Light Clinic does offer a free consultation and it's perfect because you want to go in and see if the place is to your standards, talk to the staff, ask some questions, get to know them, because especially when it comes to something as intimate as your body, you want to feel comfortable with the people that are providing you a service. In this consultation, they will do a test patch. So again, you can do your test patch and see, is the pain something I can handle? Uh, do I have any adverse reactions to it? Is it something I want to then continue on and do? So I had my test patch done, it was all fine, and I started to continue with my treatments. So you do your treatments every six to seven weeks. And before your first treatment, you need to shave the hair. So about a day or two days before, make sure whatever area you're getting done is free of hair and shave it. Don't wax, don't use hair removal creams. Uh, you only want to shave. Don't pluck it, anything like that, because you don't want the skin, any skin layers to be removed or anything to be super sensitive before you're using a laser. Obviously, like for me, sometimes I'd be going to my treatments just after work. So if you've, if you've forgotten for whatever reason, then just say, oh, I've forgotten to shave so that they can give you a disposable razor or use a disposable razor on you. And also make sure to be free of any oils, creams, deodorants, because basically you want the laser to tackle the root and the follicle. You don't want it to be buzzing off the hair that's on top. You want it to be getting right into the source killing off the root so that it'll stop hair from growing any further. So make sure you're free from any lotions and potions, you know, take some baby wipes with you or something if you need to. So that's actually another reason why it was quite good for me, speaking of waxing and creams, is because I do have eczema. I have said it a few times, but although my skincare routine has kept it at bay, um, you'll see I have quite a few patches on my elbow here, but at its worst, it was like all up and down my arms, down my legs, you know, at the sides of my body, around my eyes and mouth. So shaving was uncomfortable, hair removal creams would burn, <laughs> and I was stupid enough to try. Uh, so that's why laser hair removal was another great option for me personally, so that I could just remove my hair without feeling so uncomfortable and it wouldn't have to be something I kept doing. Another reason obviously is if you do happen to do it all over your body and constantly, it can cost quite a bit of money. So it might just be a more beneficial thing for you to just do a pack of hair removal treatments so that you 
really never have to shave or remove any hair again. Treatments cost a couple hundred pounds, it's not too expensive and you can spread the cost. And when I posted my picture on Instagram, Pulse Light Clinic contacted me because they had a package deal that they were doing so they wanted me to sh share and I was like, yeah, sure. So that was six treatments for 300 pounds at the time and it's about six treatments that it'll need for a person to completely be absolved of hair. The average person takes about six treatments. So do keep an eye on their social media to see if they've got any discounts and packages and deals going on. And obviously if you do a full body treatment, like the whole whack, it does kind of get a bit more expensive. But yeah, it's not too expensive considering the long-term outcome. So I had the ND YAG laser, which is apparently the best one for people of color. And I know some people might be worried about it for a couple of reasons. Like if you've ever heard of tattoo removal and they use a laser and you are a melanated person, it obviously can sometimes lift the pigment out of the skin. And I think that's one of the reasons people worry about laser hair removal but it's completely different laser and it doesn't remove any pigmentation from the skin whatsoever. In fact, it can actually feel like or seem like it's lightening the area because obviously you're taking away all of those black dots because if you're like me with dark hair, whenever you shave, it never really looks like you've even shaved. You can still bloody see those black dots. So that's why laser hair removal is a great treatment as well. I had no hyperpigmentation, no scarring, no scabbing, and the actual treatment itself was really, really, really easy, quick, didn't feel very painful at all. To me, it was like, I mean, I would say it's even less than someone snapping you. Like if someone was to pinch you, it's like constant pinches like this. And it, honestly, it takes about 30 seconds or less than for each underarm. It was so, so quick. You could get it done in your lunch break. It's that fast. Another thing you should be aware of is you need to stay out of the sun. So obviously I got mine done at the beginning of summer and then I went on holiday to Jamaica at the end of September. So I, I couldn't really sunbathe. Uh, it's not too bad because it was under my arms, but if you're doing any, you know, body, like your arms, your legs, you need to make sure you stay out of the sun because your skin's quite sensitive and yeah, you don't want to just reverse everything that you've done. So stay out of the sun where you can. Done my underarms and I personally would like to get my stomach done and my bikini line done. Um, I'm not too sure about my legs, only because my mum's leg hair doesn't grow anymore. So I'm kind of hoping that my Maybe I've taken after her and my leg hairs will just stop growing. Hopefully genetics will prevail. But for me, I, that's the next kind of thing that I want to get done is my stomach or my bikini area. I'll just change into a vest and show you what my underarms look like. So this is what my underarms look like. I obviously do have some deodorant on them, but look at that. Smooth. Oh, no hairs. And as you can see, I, have, I don't have any, you know, patches or bad colorants or anything like that um so yeah i do exfoliate my underarms i always have so i never really had any hyperpigmentation to begin with but just showing that the lasers haven't caused any dark patches or anything like that uh <laughs> you have your first treatment and it will kind of look like when the hair does grow back your hairs will be so much finer, like so much smaller. They'll take ages to come in because my underarms, three days tops, my underarms could just grow in, but they will take so much longer to grow in. And when they do, it's like a lot finer because I think like as it's like dissolving the roots, it's kind of um, compacting everything and the hairs just come out a lot thinner and it's obviously starting to push out, like the, the root itself is starting to push out of the skin. So yeah, they just look a lot finer and softer and longer and they take forever to come in. So the first, between the first treatment and the next treatment, a month and a half, I had to shave once. And between my second treatment and my third treatment, I shaved again, but there was even less hair. Then between my third and the rest of the ones that I've done, 
there was like zero shaving. There was like no shaving whatsoever. Honestly, after the third treatment, you should just not really see any hair. You might get like the teeniest amount here and there, which again, you can shave. And after all of your final treatments, which is around the sixth or seventh, you shouldn't really see any at all. It is something that I've heard you have to continue doing after a while. Like, so I'm fine for now, but I might have to do it again that's totally fine for me. Um, so yeah, the, it was amazing. There was like no hair growth, put the razor right down. It was great. My only other tip would be to make sure you wear loose clothing. So if you can, if it's summer, just wear a vest. Otherwise wear like really loose clothing. So once you get it done, it just feels more comfortable. There's no swelling, no scabbing, scarring or anything like that. So I think I've covered everything. If there's any questions you have, please do leave them down below. Uh, you can check out my lifestyle channel or check out previous videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. My underarms say goodbye. I would like to do more treatments. So let me know if I should update you on that. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.